Hey everybody, welcome to the video in this moment of time. My name is Owen Fox and right now I'm feeling very relaxed and I'd like to make a video about saying I am brilliant. And underneath is some writing that I wrote and I said it's positive to praise yourself. If you've I just want to talk about praising yourself, okay? Acknowledging and owning your own brilliance as a divine spirit, a being of God, source, all that is, infinite power and energy, infinite beauty, okay? In this world, we were taught that being good, it's bad to say you're good, <laughs> and it's almost like good to say you're bad. It's, we've been taught to play small, and I want to say, guys, if done from, we can either say we're good from ego, as if we're trying to be better than other people and outdo people, beat people, and to make them bad, low, lo, lowly, bad, or poor looking. We can have an identity like this is us. This is who I am. I'm better than you at this. I'm better than than them at that. Similarly, we can have an e what ego identity of like, oh my god, I'm a victim or. I'm bad at this, I'm bad at that. So I want to say it. it is not unloving or unjust or unholy to acknowledge the truth. As part of being a, a being, a divine being that we are, we want to just be honest and that's okay to like to say we're really good at some things. At least instead of saying better than you or better than others, we can say better than the way I was before. Or we can say it any way we want, but that's the way I prefer at this moment in time, and that could change. But it's nice to own your greatness, your divinity, because you are God at the end of the day. We're God, gods and goddesses. We're, we're radiant beings of love and light. And when we pretend to play small, it's unjust to our holy creator, you know? We should pay reverence to this, where we come from and who, what we truly are, by acknowledging and celebrating our and other people's beauty and positive traits without being egoically latched on and identified, because then that's a different story altogether. So when you're not doing the other different story altogether, where you're trying to boast and flatter, boast your how brilliant, how better you are than other people. Or if you're not trying to say how crap you are, you know, or like how crap, like just do it from, do it from more infiniteness, infinity, more pure purity and honesty, the, the honesty and purity of pure honesty. I love to say I'm brilliant. And I kick ass. And I love to say that other people are brilliant and they kick ass too. But in this society we think it's weird maybe to say it about others, about other people. And even weirder to say it about yourself. But that's because we grew up in a screwed up society, to be honest. And uh, I'm just trying to rewire the society and the programming. And the falsehood that we've been programmed with or conditioned or brainwashed with. So... Unbrainwash yourself and see the clear the clearness. Love isn't blind, infatuation is, but love is clear. Love is very, very, very clear. Real love, unconditional, wise, centered, harmonious love. Unconditional, everlasting love. Um, clarity of sight and clarity of heart, that's where you see clearly. When your heart and your mind is clear. Um, you're clear. Like Anthony de Mello said, who's a brilliant awareness teacher, he said, when the mind is unobstructed, the result is wisdom. When the heart is unobstructed, the result is love. You do not have to work hard to get at love or wisdom because they're more naturally ever present with us. We just need to unobstruct by washing away the illusions, the brainwashing, the conditioning, and it's simple as that. So I say also the truth feels lovely to hear. It feels lovely to hear someone break down and get rid of a lie, to speak the truth, to tell you how they really feel. Ah, oh, so refreshing. Instead of all the lies, deceitfulness and storytelling that's not true. 
and the truth feels lovely to say I love saying this video because it's true and it's lovely it's beautiful it's real it's harmonious it's kind it's caring it's loving it's friendly it's compassionate it's warm and finally guys most of all above all the truth feels lovely to be so we really are love and light good kind hearted beings of spirit and when we the more we deviate from spirit who we are truly the more we actually enter ne like uh, you know like um, disturbed emotions um, negativity hurt hurtfulness and hurt a hurtingness towards others and pain our own pain and pain in making other people become pain pained um, the further we go away from our truth the truth of us the more we suffer the more aligned we are like a dial with our real self of like as Anthony de Mello says when we're unobstructed in the heart and mind as a peace pilgrim inspired me talking about pureness and purity you feel better in life and even physically when we unobstruct and purify our bodies our, our holy body temple we feel so much better in life so it's all about circulation and you can't circulate if you're blocked energetically or physically so that's your job to unblock and you have to be honest to unblock so honesty and self-honesty and truth they are the swords of spirituality that's for me what spirituality is all about it's not about anything like astral traveling or psychic dreams or predictions or energy it's energy healing it's nothing about tools tips and hocus pocus it's about truth and um, honesty and self-honesty in all of the ways I've described so um, getting back to what I was saying initially a moment ago the truth feels lovely to hear to speak say or listen to to give or to receive and finally most importantly to be and then while then when you express it from your being before you give it to another your being is passing through you before it goes and you give your love to another person so it's lovely to be loving and another person that feels lovely to receive your love the truth of you and you being the truth of you first while you're being this thing that you're now giving and sharing with another person so so that's all I wanted to say I feel it's such a lovely message so all right, everybody, that's me finished now. So I hope you like this video. If you want to support me or learn more um, and support me in my life, my loved ones, my family, etc. And to support my video or this message in the world, please do give it a share, a like, favorite, and leave your comments. Let me know what you think, if you've enjoyed the video. And um, check out my main wall. And if you'd like what I kind of call abundant radiant spiritual life coaching of body mind and spirit um, from me or if you want to check out herbs that I have a herb shop called higherselfherbs.com all the links so many really good links below and free content below below on my website and on that as well lots of information and helpful stuff um, check that out there too herbs to charge recharge and supercharge your life and your your mind your body your spirit so i'm going to go now but i just want to say personally speaking thanks for your time and i hope this video has touched your heart and made an impact on your life positively and that's my goal and mission on earth is to help other people whilst having an adventure and creative process myself so thanks for your time and lots of love take care have a beautiful day thanks again lots of love bye